Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to track changes in MS Word. Imagine you are writing an article or preparing a report for your organization. It may involve some of your teammates, reviewers, and editors to work on them. At the end of the day, you will have a document completely altered from your original script. In such a case, how will you observe what changes have been made and who made those changes? In Word, you can easily track the changes made by you or others. As the document owner, you can also accept or reject the changes made by others. To do this, you need to first turn on the Track Changes feature. Open any Word document and click on the Review tab. Go to the Tracking section and click on Track Changes, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus E to start tracking the changes. Once the Track Changes feature is enabled, every change made by you or others will be tracked by Word. By default, the changes you make will have a red margin on the left. This margin color will be different for different authors who make changes to the document. If you don't want to track the changes anymore, you can easily turn it off. In the same way, go to Review. Under Tracking, click on Track Changes again or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Shift plus E to disable it. Once you have switched off track changes, the Word document does not track any changes that are made. However, the previously made changes will be recorded and visible. You can see the changes made to the document by any of the methods. Some users prefer to add comments to indicate changes made in a document. To add comments to the document, select the text you want to add a comment on and click Add Comments. Now type in the comment inside the Comments box. Another way to see the changes is by using the Markup dropdown. There are four ways to see the changes made to the document by selecting any one of the options from the Markup dropdown. The simple markup points out the changes made with a red margin towards the left side of the document. However, it does not give much detail about the changes. All markup gives a detailed description of the changes. It shows all the changes made, including comments and other details like font style and size. No markup simply displays the latest version with all the changes incorporated into the document. The original markup shows the original format of the document before the track changes features were switched on and changes were made. You can also choose to see any one or more types of the changes made by selecting them in the Show Markup dropdown. Here you can toggle on or off to view the comments, formatting, insertions, and deletions. Moreover, you can see the changes made by specific people using the Show Markup dropdown and selecting the Specific People option. If you are an editor, or if the article has just come back from the editor, you might want to see the changes in a detailed format. The Review pane helps you to see the changes in a list view. It provides details like the inserted text, the format of the text, the comments, and the deleted text. To see the detailed review window, just click on the Review pane in the Review tab and choose Reviewing pane horizontal slash vertical. In this video, we saw how to track changes in Word the easy way. When you share your documents with others, tracking changes provides a foolproof method to avoid inadvertent errors. We hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to leave your questions in the comments section below. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.